Hey, God bless you. Long time no vlog, you guys. My name is Mika, and I used to be a vlogger on YouTube. So, a lot of people ask, what happened? Why did I stop vlogging? Did I die? That's actually one of the questions that I got often. Did I die? No, I don't think I'm dead. I think I'm quite alright. And I am in my most happiest time in my life right now. Um, so the reason why I don't really vlog anymore as much, or not at all anymore, um, pumpkins right here. Pumpkins right here. Can you see? But um, the reason why I don't vlog that much anymore is because I um, I have passion for something like. You guys already know, I have so much passion when it comes to the truth about the Bible and about God, you know? Because everything in this world has a limitation, right? Everything you do in this world, you cannot take it with you when you die. So, I want to do something that's for eternal. That's why I want to study the Bible. That's why I want to go out preaching and testify about the second coming Christ that has already come, according to the prophecy of the Bible, which is an amazing prophecy. And of course, not only Father, but also Heavenly Mother. She's also testified in the Bible. I'm sorry, pumpkin is keep bothering me. Sit down. I know what she wants, her treats right here. So, sit, wait, wait, okay, good girl, ah, there you go, good girl. So yeah, that's why um, I've been gone, because I want to proclaim the gospel, you know, that's something that I can take it with me when I go to heaven so and a lot of things have changed since I last vlogged the last time I vlogged my hair was really long maybe down to my hips however in February I chopped my hair off right here I don't know if I can insert a picture if I can that is what I used to look like and I just chopped it off and I just went natural with my hair and now my hair has grown a lot ever since it's really curly back here though but um so that's one of the things that changed and I also changed my phone and what else I in the past year um, I was blessed enough to go to America to visit my family, my dad, my brother, and my nephew and his wife. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun to visit LA. I love LA. And then I, I also was, um, I also went to Korea as well, uh, with the blessing of you know father and mother. Uh, I was able to go to Korea and see my family members, uh, my church family. Um, our church is located in everywhere in the world, so it's amazing. I can go to any country to keep the Sabbath day. I don't go to church on Sundays because the Bible says nothing about it. So I go to church on Sabbath, and I was able to um, witness and to be a part of such an amazing, amazing time. I'm very thankful for that. It still feels like a dream to me that I was even there. and. Um, I am currently studying Korean as well. So, um, I I thought studying the Korean, um, uh, studying Korean was hard, but I found out actually it's not as hard as I thought it would be. It's very easy. So once you got like the alphabets down, you are able to read it. So when you read it, it's like your mind absorbs what you're reading. Therefore you tend to remember a lot more than just studying a phrase because um, I mean I guess when I studied English I kind of learned English from like listening to English music 
or watching TV with subtitles on it so that I know how like how they pronounce but there's a lot of Korean family in my Zion, my church so they're always speaking and we always greet each other in Korean and stuff so I hear a lot of Koreans and my ears are so used to their beautiful sounds and I was like I want to learn it I want to be able to learn how to like write and read in Korean and also speak maybe fluent one day hopefully um, yeah and today uh, I'm just all over with this vlog but I just came back from Zion we celebrate the feast of Pentecost which is one of the feasts seven feasts which God has established and you know if you are Christian then you must obey what's in the Bible so there are seven feasts which God has established for our salvation starts with the feast of Passover so we celebrate the Passover, we celebrate um, the Feast of Foundation Day, the second Passover, and now Feast of Pentecost. And the Feast of Pentecost has the promise and the blessing of the Holy Spirit. So I know, I believe that I received it. And I have dreams. I, I have a big dream, a wish, actually, that I want to fulfill. So I earnestly pray for that to come true. So I know it's going to happen in due time, in God's time. So I'm very excited about that. So I guess, um, yeah, I don't want to make this video a long video because, um, but yeah, I just want, guys want to, um, I can't speak English. I just want to let you know, because I see a lot of comments um, in my older videos and asking me if I was okay and so I'm really fine. I'm just really passionate about the gospel work. So that's where I put all my focus on, you know? So yeah, it's amazing. Once you come to know the truth, you just can't stop. Like, it's so amazing. Nothing makes sense to me until I, you know, came to Zion and everything was explained to me in details and question I, I haven't even thought of, they gave me answers. So, you know, there's so many different churches, so many different denominations, but how do you know which church is a true church, right? That's why we must study the Bible with our own eyes and not just listen to what the preacher say. Because a preacher might say, hey, Christmas is Jesus' birthday, but if it's not in the Bible, then it didn't come from God. So it is, you know, if you desire to go to heaven, if you have faith in God, then we must study the Bible um, with our own eyes. So. Yeah, I'm very thankful for that, and I'm so thankful that I could be a part of this amazing gospel work. Um, yeah, it's so amazing, so amazing. I'm very thankful. So that's what I am doing mostly, uh, and also I'm still working as well. So I'm doing both, and yeah, so that's why I, am, I don't vlog a lot. And I'm probably not going to vlog often from now on either. Um, especially starting from like um, this year I'm gonna be extremely extremely busy because there's so many things I want to do uh, for the gospel so that's where I want to put my focus on and but I always be on Instagram that's the only social media I have that I use I have a Twitter account that I don't use them I don't even have the app on my phone anymore <laughs> so um um yeah that's it i guess i don't want this to be a long video but i'm just i don't know i just got home and i was gonna you know take my makeup off but i f feel like vlogging just for a little while so that's what i did and um thank you guys so much for like worrying about me um you guys are so sweet god bless you but surely I am okay. Thanks to Father and Mother. Alright then, I guess I'll catch you guys next time? Next year? I don't know. But anyways, God bless you.